Sticking to a healthy plant-based diet is way too hard out there. If you're watching everybody else's videos, they make it just way too complicated. Come to Well Your World. We're making recipes fast, simple. Today we're doing our famous San Francisco oats. It's a savory oats. I can't wait to show you how. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. Yes, it's true. Sticking to a plant-based diet for most people is really hard until they find Well Your World and then everything gets easy because we are taking the complexity out of this thing. You don't need to be chasing after every single nutrient that you can possibly get and cooking the food this special way that brings out this and that and enzymes and bioavailability and all this BS. All you gotta do is remove the garbage from your diet, cook simple, easy meals all the time, every day, and you will find that this can be very easy to stick to. So today we are doing San Francisco oats. We named this one after we tried to make some savory oats that tasted a lot like rice aroni. And the motto for rice aroni is San Francisco treat, whatever. So we call it these San Francisco oats. Savory oats have been very popular in the Well Your World Facebook group right now. We made pizza oats on our live show recently, and that just went viral in the group. Essentially, we we're gonna rename the group to just the Pizza Oats group, but it's died down a little bit now, just in time to reintroduce one to you. San Francisco oats. This isn't a brand new recipe, it's one we've had around for a while, but it's time to put it on YouTube. So come on in Reeves and let's show them how to make some savory oats. Welcome to the stove. Let's get this thing going. Two cups of water. The whole recipe, don't worry, it's down below all the measurements, everything. There's a link down below in the description box. Click it. And I'm using two cups of veggie stock. This is the Pacific uh, low sodium veggie broth. I like this one a lot. I wish it was no sodium. The flavor is really good. So if you're not making your own, use this. Okay, we are boiling. Let's throw in our flavor. We'll just whisk it in. I've got some onion powder, some garlic powder, and turmeric. That's it. That's what's making it savory, you know what I mean? And then we'll throw in our oats. These are red lentils. Now just let it simmer. You can stir it once in a while. But just let it simmer until it's nice and soft. Maybe 15, 20 minutes because the red lentils need a little time. This is at a nice little simmer, so we'll walk away and do something else. Reeves loves to top some savory mushrooms on top of this dish. I've actually made this where we just chop some mushrooms and throw them in right now and let them cook with the oats, but we're gonna show you Reeves' favorite way of doing mushrooms. You could get away with doing like a whole pound because they shrink so much. You might as well just get it all done, right? And you don't need to chop these very small because we're obviously sauteing them, so they're gonna shrink pretty small. So I just cut them in half like this. Lay down all your mushrooms, and then you can just start practicing. Start slow like this, and then you can start to get fast. Hold your knife in the right place. Remember, this is all that's holding the knife. The fingers just wrap around for comfort, but really this is doing it all. You don't even need these other fingers. Wrap them around, get them out of the way. They'll stabilize your knife a little bit, but really the knife for me is stabilized right here on the bottom of the hand, right under my wrist kind of. While I'm grabbing the next one, I'll often just keep the knife going. Boom, you had a pound of mushrooms before you know it. Let's be real, you can get away with not chopping for lots of things. We have tons of recipes on our channel that are no chop, easy with freezer stuff, but every once in a while, you're gonna wanna chop some fresh stuff. So I would encourage you to try it out. Get a little bit decent at it, you know? Let's get to the stove. With oats, as they start to cook, they thicken. And you can get away with a little bit lower temperature. So if it looks like what was just a light simmer before is starting to get too heavy a boil, then just turn it down a little bit. That's just an oats trick. All right, I've got a cold pan. You can wait for it to heat up or not, whatever. The mushrooms will tell me when it's hot. <laughs> Mushrooms will give off a lot of liquid, but initially it takes a minute. So I'm just gonna add a splash of juice, just water, whatever, or veggie stock, whatever you want, just to kind of get the process rolling. And I find that helps to get these mushrooms sweating. This is how Reeves likes to do it. She does it with a little bit of salt. We're gonna use liquid aminos. We've done it with tamari, coconut aminos. We don't really get the coconut aminos. It's always the liquid aminos. And it takes us a long time to go through this whole entire bottle. And then a little liquid smoke. This is just a touch of liquid smoke. I love this brand of liquid smoke because it's just single ingredient. It doesn't have a bunch of other junk in it. Now you can see this is really starting to give away a lot of liquid. And now don't add any more liquid. The mushrooms are gonna sweat it all out and you'll just let that kind of boil off here as we saute. It kind of becomes the salty condiment, just like black olives. Yes, that's a great way to put it. They really are, because you're just gonna top it, right? It's not like a centerpiece of your dish. You're not just gonna eat a bowl of mushrooms. So yeah, it's a little salty, but you're kind of just using it to add a little bit of savory flavor to the dish, so it's a reasonable amount of salt. Of course, if you're avoiding salt altogether, find a different thing you can do with the mushrooms, but you know, a little bit of liquid smoke with just plain mushrooms will probably do the trick for you if you're used to not eating salt. You could use our Stardust seasoning, there it is, or some Galaxy Dust, just to give a little bit of oomph. This is thickening up nicely. We'll turn these mushrooms down a little bit. Let's go chop some spinach because I'm gonna wanna put some spinach in here when these uh, red lentils get cooked up. 
Dill, you have two of the most ultimate food shrinkers, which is spinach and mushrooms. I'm gonna take a nice big handful like this. It may look like a lot, but like Reed said, it shrinks. And these are pretty big leaves. I don't want spinach like flopping around my face when I take my bites of oats. So I'm gonna chop this up more bite size. But if you want more than that, do, double it up. Do two handfuls. I'm also gonna throw in some nutritional yeast. We didn't throw that in yet. You gotta have it in a savory oats, you know what I mean? Check out these mushrooms. All that juice is starting to boil off. Use them instead of bacon bits for your salad. Ooh, yeah, you could chop them even smaller if you want and you could have a little bit but that's a great idea, Reeves. I love that. That's a nice salad topper. Heck yeah. This is what I was talking about, y'all. With the oats, as they start to thicken and cook, you gotta turn the heat down a little bit because the, the boil is just like too heavy and they will stick to the bottom and burn, depending on the type of stove you have. When the camera was off, I ate like eight of those mushrooms. What? <laughs> oh, no, I don't wanna do it. Oh, they're good. We are ready for spinach. There it goes. Let's stir it in and you're gonna see this spinach just wilt and just add a nice little bit of color. You're gonna wanna double this recipe. It does look like not enough food. So you're gonna wanna probably make a double batch. So you've got some leftovers. We got the Well Your World Nutritional Yeast. It's the best out there. It's not fortified with any fake stuff. Greatest price ever. Greatest flavor ever. Get our nooch. This is one big bowl of San Francisco oats. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, it's a pretty big portion, but it's still not like two big portions, you know what I mean? Don't you love the color too? I think the turmeric just gives it such a pretty yellow color. It's mushroom time. Let's just get a nice oh, dollop yeah. of shrooms right on top. Who says you have to eat sweet oats? You do, but you also should eat savory oats. <laughs> Let's have a taste of Rooney. Oh, that's so good. I don't understand how it tastes like rice aroni, but it does. Mm. I mean, I haven't had rice aroni in 10 years, but Oh, it's so creamy. This is an awesome lunch, breakfast, you name it. What about a camping meal? That's a great idea. Camping food it is. Get in here, Reeves. You gotta taste this. So can I just go straight into the Absolutely. Mushroom pile? This is your dish. I don't know how Dylan eats this stuff so hot. The texture of the oats and the lentils together is just like so creamy and magnificent. It's a delicious, comforting meal. It's so healthy. And the little bit of salty flavor you get from the mushrooms is yeah. just perfect. You don't need any more than that. Mm. The San Francisco treat, ding ding. If you've been afraid to try savory oats, you've gotta try these San Francisco oats. They are so good and they will change your mind in just one bite. The recipe's down below in the description box. Click the link, check it out. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more like this and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.